got a few options. Oliver, he's by himself. Gorn touched. He would have seen it. Happy to keep rolling this time. Max, the skipper, on the run, around the corner. They've got eight. Well, there was only one person on the ground that knew that was touched, and it was Big Maxie Gordon, and that's why he played on. He knew it was touched. Umpire played it as a mark, but he was already off. That's a that's a brilliant finish. Demons, first two of the third, and here comes Petrarca again, full of confidence. Handball inside to Gorn. 55 metres, takes out the driver, sets sail for home. Petrarca break away. We see Clayton Oliver break away. And now the big man. They're all doing it. Well, we're watching Petrarca grab a prelim by the scruff of the neck leper and saying, no one's going to beat us tonight. Well, his, last, his last couple of minutes has just have been unbelievable. Well, a lot of people panic when someone comes at them to tackle them, and he just welcomes it. He says, all right, good luck trying to tackle me. I'll get through you. I'll draw another one, and then I'll get somebody else out. He's just such a weapon around the clearances. But they can clean up their own mess pretty Max quickly. Sarver. If they do, they get on with Hold the, the job pretty quick and just keep playing. Yep. Radical Leah. Bye. Arm over the shoulder. Arms over the shoulder. Back is high. Max Gorn. Max! What a leader he has been for this team through good times and bad. 15 guys there, Max. Not sure he could argue with that. It no. stayed there for a while. But, um... <laughs> and Oliver could have got the second one potentially as well. It's easy to forget about Max. He had two ACLs early in his career, 2009 and 2012. He's just been so solid. What a player he's turned into. And he kicks his third. Margin out at 58 points. It's been all Melbourne in this third term. Well, the confidence is high for the Melbourne Actually, footy club. Going with them now. It seems that way, doesn't it? Well, the trick in sport. Have a look at this. Another one for the Demons. It's Max Gorn. He's got four. Three of the best you'll ever see from a big man in one game. It's unbelievable. You don't see Ruckman do this. This is this is crazy. Snapping around the body. That's his second big snap around the body. A PB in a prelim for the skipper. Four. Never kicked four before. They can't do a thing wrong at the minute. Well, sometimes things are just meant to happen in your life, and you can tell this is Melbourne's moment. Every part of it's gone their way. Every snap's gone through the middle. Every tackle's hit. It's been a, a, a massive day for him. Other demons to kick four in a final. Lion meets Robbie Flower, Captain. High contact, Melbourne. And Max Gorn. In the throat. It's everything going Melbourne's way. So Luke Jackson will have it. The run from behind is Rivers. Drives it inside again. Not Max again! Are you kidding? Just to clean that up, the only Melbourne captains to kick four in a final. Lyon meets Flower, now for five. And for four in the quarter from Max. What a 16 minutes from the Ds.
The skipper has five. And Leper, it's one thing to have great players, which Melbourne have. Geelong have two. But when you've got great players all playing in career best form at the same time, that is just one of those magical little windows that doesn't always happen in a, in a playing group. You're right, and they're amazing. A lot of all Australians in this group. It's the Melbourne year, isn't it? It just you can just sense that tidal wave, and then that's just in a group of three. Too big, too strong. Look at Gary Lyon. And, and once again, it's just the ease of which they've been able to win the footy away from the centre. Just so easy. It's 13-3 from stoppages. Chris Scott, there's still a long time to go. This is a training run at the minute. 